I had a question from someone that wanted to know why am I so tired when I do intermittent fasting? So this video is on that topic. Now, when you originally start keto and you go from a high carb to a low carb, there's gonna be a transition period. It's called keto adaptation. And some of the common symptoms are keto fatigue. So you're not just gonna be tired when you're eating, you're gonna be tired when you're doing intermittent fasting between the meals as well. That could be just because you haven't adapted to fat. And it could also be because your carbs aren't low enough. So if you keep your carbs a little bit higher, it's gonna be more difficult to adapt to fat because fat burning is all about depriving your carbohydrates. That's what induces ketosis, which is the byproduct of burning fat. Also, it does take some time to adapt to fat burning. And it could take anywhere between three days to a week, sometimes even longer if you have severe insulin resistance or diabetes. So if you've just started keto, Give it more time, make sure your carbs are low. Number two, more potassium. You have billions and billions of these little pumps called sodium potassium pumps that generate energy, electrical current, like a battery, to power your muscles and your nervous system. And so if your diet does not have enough potassium because you don't like vegetables, you're not gonna generate energy. Magnesium is also required to make the energy currency in the body called ATP. And mainly you're going to get it in leafy greens, big salads. But the one that I want to emphasize is when you do keto, sometimes you can be B1 deficient. Let me explain. When you do high carbs, your body requires a tremendous amount of B1. The more carbohydrate you consume, the more B1 you need. And if you're not getting enough B1, you're going to be deficient. But when you switch over to keto, you're typically not going to need as much B1 as you did doing high carb. However, you're still going to need B1. And if you are doing higher amounts of fat that are not necessarily mixed with protein, for example, let's say you're adding MCT oil or butter or keto bombs, or coconut oil, where you're having these fats out of the normal complex, realize that fat does not contain B1. And so as you're metabolizing that, you need B1 to metabolize it and break it down. It could be drawing from your reserves. So if you are doing a good amount of fat without the B1, that can create more of a B1 deficiency, or at least aggravate that deficiency and give you some of the B1 symptoms, which are fatigue and nervousness and the inability to relax, like you're feeling stressed. Now, there's several other things that people do when they start a ketogenic diet. They tend to drink more coffee and sometimes tea. Both of these will deplete B1, and that could end up making you tired. If you're doing keto and you're doing wine, I know certain uh, programs are okay with you doing the keto-friendly wine. In my program, I don't recommend it. But if you're doing wine, wine has two things. One is alcohol, and the other is sulfites as a preservative. Both of those items will deplete you of B1. Also, if you eat just all cooked foods, that's going to deplete your B1 as well. So that's why I recommend a good amount of raw vegetables, things like that. Now, raw fish, like in sushi, could also create a B1 deficiency. And let's say you're also a diabetic and you're trying keto and you're still in metformin. Metformin also depletes B1 big time. This is one of the reasons why um, people that are on metformin could have a serious side effect called lactic acidosis. That's a B1 deficiency. So anyway, if you are tired on keto, these are the three things that are going on. Don't forget about B1. I would always recommend taking B1 in the form of nutritional yeast. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S., Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below 
so you can call and get some help.